2022 Ford Maverick, uh, changing the 12 volt battery. Now batteries normally produce explosive gases, which can cause personal injury. Therefore do not allow flames or sparks or lightest substance to come near the battery. When working near the battery, always shield your face and protect your eyes and always provide the correct ventilation. When lifting a plastic case battery, excessive pressure on the end walls could cause acid to flow through the vent caps, resulting in personal injury and damage to the vehicle or battery. Lift the battery with a battery carrier or with a hands-on opposite corners. Keep batteries out of reach of children, of course, and batteries contain sulfuric acid. Avoid contact with um, skin, eye, or clothing. Shield your eyes when working near the battery to protect against possible splashing of acid solution. And in case of acid contact with skin, flush immediately with water for the minimum of 15 minutes and get prompt medical attention. If it's swallowed, call physician immediately. Uh, battery post terminals and related accessories contain lead and lead compound chemicals known as known to the state of California to cause cancer and reproductive harm. So be careful. Now the vehicle may ha have more than one battery. Removing the battery cables from only one battery does not disconnect your vehicle electrical system. Make sure you disconnect the battery cables from all the batteries. When disconnecting power, free to do so may cause serious personal injury or property damage. For a vehicle with auto start stop, the battery requirement is different. You must replace the battery with one of exactly the same specifications. The battery of course is located in the engine apartment underneath the hood. Uh, your vehicle has a maintenance free battery. It does not require water or any additional water or anything like that. If the vehicle battery has a cover and vent hose, make sure to correctly um, install it after cleaning or replacing the battery. For longer trouble free operations, keep the top of the battery clean and dry and the battery cables tightly fastened to the battery terminals. If any corrosion is present on the battery terminals, remove the cables from the terminals and clean with a wire brush. You can neutralize the acid with a solution of baking soda and water. We recommend that you disconnect the negative uh, battery cable terminal from the battery if you plan to store your vehicle for an extended period of time. If you only disconnect the negative battery terminal, make sure it is isolated or placed away from the battery terminal to avoid unintended connection or arcing. If you replace the battery, make sure it matches the electrical requirements of your vehicle. If you disconnect or replace the battery and your vehicle has an automatic transmission, it must relearn its adaptive strategy. Because of this, the transmission may shift firmly when they were first driven. This is normal operation when the transmission fully updates its operation to optimum shift field. And you, you have to also do a battery sensor reset. This is when you install a new battery, reset the battery sensor by doing the following. Switch the ignition on and leave the engine off. Complete step two and three within 10 seconds. Now flash the high beam headlamps five times, ending with the high beam off. Press and release the brake pedal three times. The battery warning lamp flashes three times to confirm that the reset is successful. Battery management system. Now the system monitors uh, battery conditions and takes action to extend battery life. If excessive battery drain is detected, the system temporarily disables some electrical systems to protect the battery. Now the systems include the heated rear window, heated seats, climate control, heated steering wheel, audio unit, and the navigation system. And a message may appear in the information display to alert you that the battery protection actions are active. The message is only for notification that an action is taking place and not intended to indicate an electrical problem. 
are that the battery requires replacement. Now, after battery uh, replacement, or in some cases, after charging a battery with an external charger, the battery management system requires eight hours of vehicle sleep time to relearn the battery state of charge. Now, during this time, your vehicle must remain fully locked with the ignition switched off. Now, prior to relearning the battery state of charge, the battery management system may temporarily disable some electrical systems. Electrical accessory installation. Now to make sure that the battery management system works correctly, do not connect any electrical device uh, ground connection directly to the battery negative posts. This can cause inaccurate measurements of the battery condition and potential incorrect system operation. If you add electrical accessories or components to the vehicle, it may adversely affect the battery performance and durability. This may also affect the performance of other electrical systems in the vehicle. Re removing and reinstalling the battery. Now install a battery approved for use uh, by four specifications. Now to disconnect or remove the battery, do the following. Apply the parking brake and switch the ignition off. Switch our electrical equipment off, lights and radio. Wait a minimum of two minutes before disconnecting the battery. Now the engine management system has a power hold function. It remains powered for a period of time after you switch the ignition off. This is to allow the system to store diagnostic and adaptive tables. Disconnecting the battery without waiting can cause damage not covered by your vehicle warranty. So you have to wait a few minutes before you um, before you get started. Now disconnect the negative uh, battery cable terminals and disconnect the positive battery terminals and remove the battery securing the uh, clamp. Remove the battery. Now to install, just reverse it and follow the removal procedure. Before reconnecting the battery, make sure the ignition remains switched off and make sure to fully tighten the battery cables. If you disconnect or replace the vehicle battery, you must reset the following. The windows bounce back, uh, clock settings, and the preset radio stations. And again, everybody knows about the battery disposal and doing stuff that's environmental friendly and to dispose of the battery. Now adjusting a headlamp, that's another story. But this is just about the battery maintenance, folks. The Automotive Reviews, you guys, thanks for thanks for um listening. Thanks for subscribing and and uh this is the twenty twenty two Ford Maverick uh manual regarding replacing the twelve volt battery and the twelve volt battery operation and how to replace it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember like, share and subscribe and have a fantastic day. <laughs> is a new kind of pickup. Versatile and capable. Built for makers and doers. Stunningly fuel efficient and built for tough. It's the truck for people who never knew they needed a truck. Here's everything you need to know about the all new Ford Maverick in just three minutes. Maverick is the first ever standard full hybrid truck. Maverick comes standard as a five passenger four door pickup available in XL, XLT, and Lariat trim levels. The standard 2.5 liter hybrid has a targeted EPA estimated rating of 40 miles per gallon in the city and 500 miles of range on a single tank of gas. The truck bed is a maker space. This flex bed system offers all kinds of organization and DIY solutions like vertical and horizontal slots for two by four and two by six boards that you can use to build your own bike racks, service bed dividers, or any number of other solutions. A multi-position tailgate and 10 available tie downs to secure your items. Two available 110 volt outlets, one in the cabin and one in the bed, can power phones, tools, and electronics. And a standard electric 12 volt DIY pre-wire package in the bed can be used for wiring lights and a four and a half foot bed. Six feet with the tailgate down can help haul bikes, furniture, or that next DIY project you're working on. Maverick has a lower ride height, 
which makes getting in and out a breeze. And most adults can reach over the side and easily grab whatever you need. It has a max payload capacity of 1,500 pounds and standard towing capacity of 2,000 pounds. And of course, Maverick is built for tough. The available 2-liter EcoBoost engine, which provides optional all-wheel drive, also has an available max towing package of 4,000 pounds. Maverick is built with smart technology like a standard embedded modem, which allows you to start, lock, and unlock your vehicle from your Ford Pass app. The standard 8-inch touchscreen also provides seamless integration with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Five selectable drive modes to help enhance performance and confidence in various driving conditions. It has Ford Copilot 360 technology like standard automatic emergency braking and auto high beams. As well as available adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering, and evasive steering assist capabilities. This truck was designed with smart storage solutions to accommodate how people live. Like there's a place to store a tall one liter water bottle. Store your gear in the large bins under the rear seat, door pockets for stashing laptops or tablets, and bed storage for things like tools or rope. Maverick boasts a tight turning radius and compact size for easy driving and parking around the city. Maverick has city maneuverability with truck functionality. The truck is ingeniously designed to be customized inside and out to suit your lifestyle. And it delivers on the built Ford tub durability and capability you expect. Finally, the all new Ford Maverick starts at just under 20 grand. This is Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And have an awesome and fantastic day. Much love. And again, thanks for coming by.